Welcome back for our third and final set. Once again, please note flash photography during the show. Welcome back to the stage, the Chicago Celebrate.
Orchestra. All right. Whew, that's a lot. Let's see, I want to do a uh, thing to feature John on the alto saxophone. John, John on the alto saxophone. He's going to do a thing from uh, 1930. 492. 492. And let's have uh, Dan Anderson and the tuba switch to the string bass. Why not? That's Dan Anderson, by the way. Right, here's a thing recorded by Herb Gordon's Whispering Orchestra. And uh, you stayed this late, you're going to hear all the details. Who cares? We're going to hear about this, this nerd stuff that we uh, live in every day. This is called Jericho. And uh, Herb Gordon led a band called the Whispering Orchestra, which was like us. It had three saxophones, it had three violins, but no brass, no brass at all, just uh, saxophones. And this one featured Benny Goodman on the clarinet and the alto saxophone. So we're going to have John do the Benny Goodman part. This is called Jericho. Wish him luck. Good luck. <laughs> Big spider music for you right now. Three, four, nine. Three, four, nine. Hey, if you enjoyed the band, there's one uh, last set for you to contribute to our band fund. 
And that's the tip tub over here. Get the thing up as soon as you can and help uh, support the band in our pursuit of old fashioned non commercial music. Please help us out. All right. Then we're going to play a song off the record by Vic Spike back, back in 1927 with Frank Trumbauer on the uh, C melody saxophone. We've resurrected the coda, the end of the song that Vix wrote, but was never recorded. We've res resurrected that thing, and uh, we're going to play it for you as well. It's called Singing the Blues. Maybe Vix's most famous recording. Hope you enjoy this. Pinkert, this is a thing that he did 
under his own name. So I'll be a friend with pleasure. Paul's going to sing it once again, Paul Asaro at the piano. He'll take the role of, let's see, what's what his name? Wes Vaughn. Wes Vaughn sang this thing. No one likes Wes Vaughn, but everybody loves Paul Asaro. All right, here we go. I'll count it off in three. This is called I'll Be a Friend with Pleasure. Here we go. Vince Vaughn on the vocals, and Rob Schneider on the arrangement. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Rob Schneider, that's, that's ridiculous. All right, let's play some, uh, 
good old fashioned mid twenties jazz. Seven six nine. Seven six nine. It's being recorded by Red Nichols with the uh, California Ramblers. It plays a lot recently. I really like because it uh, it's a good song and no one's playing this thing anywhere. It's called Techland. It was uh, written by a student at Virginia Tech back in the 1920s and she wrote this thing and then she must have spent a lot of money to get the good New York guys to record this thing and uh, somehow it turned out. It's called Techland. Here we go. Ha! Ah. Feature Paul Sorrow right now. How about a great, big, huge, green belt hand for Paul Sorrow? Yeah. 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 He deserves it. All ten fingers. Right. I think we'll let him play a thing and we'll get off the bandstand, each and every one of us, and uh, let him create some artistry at the grand piano. Um, any of you would want to play, Paul? <laughs> Create no. something. <laughs> Paul is <laughs>
start at the piano, everybody. Hey, I'm the band leader, which means I can do whatever the hell I want to do. I want to play some clarinet with Paul. Let's, let's do a little duet, maybe some blues. Is that all right? All right. Let's do a... I do, this all, I do this all the time, but I really enjoy the thing. Written by Lil Hardin, I believe, but recorded by Johnny Dodds here in Chicago back in 1926. And uh, this is a lonesome blues. Let's do that. In the people's key of B flat. And Paul's going to set me up, and I'll, then I'll know when to start. All right, here, the lonesome blues. Paul's on the piano. 
Yeah. 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 All right, bring on the band. Let's bring on the band. Yeah, you gotta come back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here comes the rest of the band. We're gonna play a thing right now. That I wrote for the Cellar Boys not too long ago, a couple months ago. Seven five two. I wrote this for a uh, New Orleans band, more or less. And this neighborhood in New Orleans called the, the Bywater. So this is called the Bywater Shuffle. It will feature, I think everybody on this one for sure. We'll, we'll squeeze everybody in. This is called the Bywater Shuffle. Here we go. request from one of our uh, longest term fans. This is Joe over here. He asked for a long term Joe. Long term Joe. He asked for a Clarence Williams thing. And this is as blues as you can get. 
in the 1920s. This is called The Close Fit Blues, written by Clarence Williams himself. And we're going to feature our fine clarinet section on this one. But first, me. We're going to feature myself on the cornet. And then the clarinets. All right, whatever. All right, hope you enjoy this one. If you feel like dancing, this is a good one and kind of a last chance. Here we go. This is called Close Fit Blues.
here has a full spit blues upper clarinet section. John Otto and Natalie Sharp. And the most unsung here in the band on the tuba. Most impossible job ever. That's Dan Andrews. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, let's play something. Uh, let's just play a song. Let's play a song. Let's, uh, let's play uh, Back in Your Own Backyard, all right? We'll play some Vicks music this evening. We're going to play one uh, without a chart, just to play a song for you right now. From 1928, it's called Back in Your Own Backyard. Here we go.
Junior. Surprise welcome by our auxiliary vocalist, John Otto. That's good for him. <laughs> hey, you guys are a great crowd. We're going to play something really special for you right now. Time for a couple more, and this one's something you've probably never heard before. From the King of Jazz, 1930. We're going to feature Paul Sarr on the vocal with a very risky vocal. Just a little different. Let's take it easy. Let's have Dan play some uh, string bass. All right. He brought it. We're going to play it. Five thirty-nine. This is a thing recorded by the great Fats Waller. Nice swing number. We're not quite done. We're going to ease into the station here. This is called Until the Real Thing Comes Along.
Thanks a lot and good night.